What's going on guys, so another update time. So today we updated the thumbnails, yesterday we updated the, the format in terms of recording with the face cam. I am constantly working on improving things here on the channel, I'm still trialing things. It's gonna be, it is gonna be a long time until something is set in stone with the way that I do things. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to figure it out though. So I very much so prefer the way that I'm doing the playthroughs now, the way that I've been doing the Warrior Within and the Prince of Persia Two Thrones ones, where it's a lot more like it is on TikTok, but longer form. And I'm gonna keep doing that, but I'm gonna change it up just a little bit because I think it's gonna make it easier to stay on top of things. So let me explain the way it's been working for the videos that I've been doing so far. So I start the recording with an OBS, and then anytime I wanna record, what I do is I press a hotkey that I've got on my keyboard, speak for say 40 seconds and then turn it off. And what happens is, is this ends up being one file that's about 12 minutes long that I then put into CapCut where I can section up and put into TikTok. But that is fairly time consuming and I'm trying to make it a little bit more efficient. My idea and my alternate way of doing it is perhaps I focus on making the TikToks first and then compile them into the YouTube video later. So doing it sort of in reverse. So instead of making the YouTube video and ripping the TikToks out, I record lots of little segments and them all be their own individual files that I can then shove into CapCut, shove them all on the timeline and edit them all together. For you guys, I don't think it's gonna make any difference. Like I think if I didn't make this video talking about it, I don't think you'd notice. But for me, I think it's gonna make it easier to stay on top of things and just, keep the content flowing sooner. And I might even shorten the videos a little bit too. Reason being, if I have a look at my average view duration, since I included the face cam and started editing the videos a little bit more, the view duration has gone up. Before it was like two to three minutes, now it's like four to seven. However, the videos are still typically 15 minutes or so. And the longer a video is in terms of the bulk length, the harder it is for me to get the individual TikToks out of it, and the longer I have to go in between, and then the longer the editing session to create those TikToks from it. And obviously that is just totaling up to a lot more time invested into it. So I'm thinking perhaps I record the TikTok so I record shorter files, compile them all together and create longer form content for the regular videos of the playthroughs that I'm doing. But instead of them being 15 minutes, maybe I make them shorter but post more of them. That might be the better way of doing it in terms of the average view duration and making the most out of people's attention span. Because here's, here's some reality um, in terms of analytics, because again, you guys know that I like the analytical side of things, is because the majority of my followers come from TikTok where short form content is king, it means that inherently you guys, I love you, but you guys, your attention span is gonna be worse than the average YouTube follower. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be hard for me to go from going, go from being like, right guys, watch this 40 second video on TikTok to watch this 16 minute video on YouTube. Like that is an, a huge disparity there and I get it. So I'm thinking it might make sense for me to make the videos shorter, maybe five to eight minutes, try and make better use of people's attention span, better use of that average watch time. Um, and then I can post more videos per day as well, which as I spoke about in my last update video, is something that I just personally enjoy. I don't know why, but there's some sort of itch in my head that is scratched when I click that upload button. Um, every opportunity to upload is an opportunity for that little spike in views at the start, and it's always incredibly satisfying. And it's something on TikTok that I quite enjoy is that, um, you can tell within 20 minutes on TikTok whether a video is going to do well or not, pretty much. Um, and that means that you've got another opportunity to make something else and go and do something else. Whereas YouTube, it's a lot slower of a process, um, which means that I, in turn, then want to make even more content so that I can try to see results quicker because I'm all about I'm all about the numbers. Interestingly, uh, I had a comment earlier on. Let me read this comment out loud. And I did not take it as hate, and the guy said no hate, but it did. Co it, did it does sound fairly negative. You'll see. I love the TikTok videos and by no, ne no means am I hating when I say any of this, but I don't think the YouTube venture will work with this content. There'll be a thousand playthroughs of the ga older games already on YouTube. People like Hollow and the Rad Brad, etc. who playthroughs only tend to do new games. And if you're not planning on buying every single brand new game, first or third person that comes out, then the effort isn't gonna be worth it on YouTube. TikToks are great. YouTube's gonna be a hard slog with the kind of content you're doing. And you've got to ask, is the reward worth it? And I like the way this dude's thinking, because again, I'm analytical, like I don't take this emotionally and I completely agree. This is an uphill battle that I'm fighting. For example, if I post these videos where I'm like, let's play Prince Persia, I'm then having to compete in the search terms with people whose let's plays have been on YouTube for 14 years. 
14 years and it will always prioritize the people who have already ranked. So it's going to be hard for me to do. I can rank when a new game comes out, kind of, like for example Resident Evil 4 Remake, because it's a brand new game, there's a lot more search traffic. I did a test earlier on. I've been investing money into like different programs so that I can see things like vidIQ, I'm paying for the boost version, which I think 50 quid a month or something like that. I also had to get Canva Premium so I could start making the fancier um, thumbnails. But with vidIQ, I can look at the search volume per keyword. So if I search like Resident Evil 4 Remake Let's Play, that currently has a few million search terms this month. Whereas Prince Persia, 30,000. So you see how it's like up and down. So I think the guy is right. The longer form content is going to be an uphill struggle when it comes to posting older games and making the videos long. That's why I think if I focus on the TikTok videos first, keeping the new format, by the way, I'm not going back to just recording my TV, um, but then edit those TikTok videos into the longer five to eight minute long YouTube long form content, that's the way. And then to be fair, something that I'm going to start doing, not yet, but I will, is I am going to start posting the individual TikToks as YouTube Shorts, because that's another methodology to grow and YouTube is severely pushing Shorts right now. However, I'm not planning on doing it until I pass 4,000 hours of watch time. So, so that you guys know, you need 4,000 hours of watch time within a year to be monetized. Um, I'm looking forward to being monetized because obviously that's when I can start to see a return for all the hours that I'm putting in. However, I don't know. Okay, so the watch time that you get on shorts does not count towards your watch time 4,000 hours, right? But I don't know whether it still shows up in the analytics. Like if I go to my analytics, right, it says that I've got about 1,700 hours of watch time, most of which is this week, yeah? I don't know if I then post a short, does that contribute to that number, even though that isn't the number that I need to get to 4,000, whereas at the minute that 1,700 is the 1,700 hours that I need to get to the 4,000. Do you know what I mean? So just because I don't know that for sure, I don't plan on posting any shorts or many shorts until after I become monetized. I'll, I won't make much from the shorts anyway, because you need the short, the short revenue sharing program at the minute is just awful, so there's no point trying to even monetize those. But it's a case of I don't want them messing up my analytics in terms of what I'm actually looking at. Because when I'm analyzing those analytics right now, I'm trying to analyze them based off my longer form content to see what's working, what isn't, what I can change, what I can improve. This is why I'm able to do pretty well on TikTok regardless of the content that I make. Like, I'm pretty good at understanding the TikTok algorithm, how to get people's attention, how to keep them around, how to get people to follow, how to get people to do things. That's why I was able to grow the fit fitness account to like 400 and 444,000 followers and why I've got the gaming account on there at 216,000 followers. YouTube is a whole different ball game, so obviously I'm gonna have to relearn it from scratch. So the content's gonna keep changing up and down while I make these videos, but I'm enjoying it. It's, it's fun learning a new algorithm, whereas on TikTok I just, TikTok, I could have just continued recording my TV and over the next year or two would have just continued getting more hundreds of thousands. But I, I do like recording it more professionally because it just looks cooler um, and it's more fulfilling to make. They still get pretty decent views. I'll be honest, I got more views when I record my TV, but that's because, again, people don't like change. So, for example, some people preferred it on TikTok where I recorded my screen uh, with, the, with the tripod and... It might be easier, I'm not sure. I don't know, we'll see. It's it's difficult to do, to, to record the screen with the tripod for the TikToks and record them the old way and also do stuff for the YouTube channel. Whereas if I just do it all in OBS and then use the same file and upload it in both places, that works much better. Um, it's not to say I'll never go back to the old way of doing TikToks because I don't want to ever say never because never is a, a silly thing to say when it comes to analytics because you have to be constantly adapting to what you're learning and. There's always gonna be more to learn and things are always gonna change. But yeah, those are my thoughts. And something interesting is I do need to start doing a lot more standalone videos like this one here, because these standalone videos get so many more views than whatever random game I'm playing at the time. Like, let me just go to some of these analytics with you guys. So if we go to my content right now, my last standalone video is I Need Advice. That has 600 views. I'm pretty lucky if my playthrough videos even get to 100. Uh, my last standalone video before that was the movie review for the film Air, which is a film nobody's ever heard of really, 239. And then before that was announcing the next series, 385. So it's pretty clear to me and it makes sense that just content like this where I'm talking to the camera can appeal to more people than just random niche games that I'm playing. So I need to do more of this as well. Um, so I need to come up with a content creation plan in terms of the sorts of videos that I'm going to do and that are 
redoable and maybe maybe I need my old whiteboard back. When I was in my mum's house, I used to have a whiteboard on my wall to keep track of ideas for the fitness TikTok. It's still there, I didn't bring it with me because I've got more space in this room. I didn't think I needed it, but maybe I do need a whiteboard for this room so that I can sort of brainstorm ideas for the YouTube. It's gonna be interesting over the coming months to continue fucking with um, my content to see where I end up doing it the best and whatever. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm always going to be straight up with you guys and talk about like the monetization side of things and stuff like that, because I, I think I think it's important to be. I think anyone that says that you should do it strictly out of the love of doing it is naive. Like I get it, but you can't do anything for as many hours a day as I do, and it be sustainable long term. So of course I want to make money from this. Everybody wants to make money, but I love doing it, so it's fun. So I love doing it and the potential to make money is there, so I'm gonna keep going, you know? And as soon as I become monetized, which at this rate is within the next month by the look of my analytics, so if I go to my watch time hours, um, for example, you guys that have watched this far, 10 minutes or so into the video, you guys are the guys that are really helping me with the watch time hours thing, um, because you're spending a lot of time on the video. Uh, on Sunday, I got 270 hours of watch time, Monday, 260, Tuesday, 260 again, Wednesday 201, Thursday 162. Um, and I don't know about Friday yet because that won't update until I wake up tomorrow. But, so, I, I did the math and if I got at least 150 hours of watch time every day for a month, I'd hit 4,000 hours. And I only need like another 1,300 hours of watch time anyway. And most days I'm getting between 260 and 160. So it really isn't long until I'm gonna be monetized. And then I can start seeing even more numbers that I get to mess with, which is gonna be fun. So yeah, hopefully you guys stick around on this journey of uh, algorithm discovery and me trying to figure out what I want to do on this account and how to make things work and how to be a proper YouTuber, like doing the nice thumbnails that I started learning to do today. That was some fun. It took hours because I had to like learn how to do it and I'm not very graphically minded, trust me, but it's, it's fun. Um, and I hope you guys just listen to me, liked listening to me ramble. I could ramble for hours about pretty much any topic. So thanks for watching guys. Comment down below. If you watched this video all the way through, comment down below algorithm. And then if you want to be really helpful, go stick one of my playlists on so that the videos just play overnight and I can get more watch time hours while you're asleep. Right, love you, bye.